Welcome back to RG Security Team. I said in a short video that if I get 10 likes in the comment, I will give a tutorial video on BetterCap Wi-Fi hacking. You have completed the task, so I also came to you with a tutorial video. First, you will need a Wi-Fi adapter that supports monitor mode. Here my Wi-Fi adapter is in manage mode. Now I need to turn it into monitor mode. You can see here that my Wi-Fi adapter is turned on in monitor mode. Now we launch BetterCap and configure it for Wi-Fi sniffing. If you give the command help here, it will show all the modules of the BetterCap framework. And if you write help here again, then type the module name and press enter, it will show all the information about the module. Everything is given step by step. Here you can see how to turn the module on or off, how to set the target, how to capture the handshake, and how to perform a doth attack. Now we need to do some configuration for Wi-Fi sniffing. First set the Wi-Fi interface name. Check the interface name carefully before setting it. Now enter the name and path of the Wi-Fi handshake file you want to set here, but make sure to save the handshake file in .pcap format. Then start the Wi-Fi recon module. This command starts scanning all nearby Wi-Fi networks. I am turning off the event stream for now. If I turn it off, the scanning will continue in the background. Now you can see how many Wi-Fi's you have scanned by running the Wi-Fi.show command. Now we need to set the target. Now capture the handshake of the target Wi-Fi using Doth or Akos attack. Enter the MAC address of the target Wi-Fi with the attack you want to perform. Enter the first few characters of the MAC address of the target device and press the tab button to automatically complete the MAC address. Now by turning on the event stream, you can see whether the handshake has been captured or not. The Akos attack is not working properly on my device, so I am performing a Doth attack. The encryption is shown in red color, meaning the handshake was successfully captured. Now you need to install HCX tools. It will be useful to convert the captured handshake to Hashcat format. Run this command to convert the handshake file to Hashcat format. You can see that our handshake file has been converted to Hashcat format. Now we will crack the password of the Wi-Fi hash file with Hashcat. This will take some time, it will depend on how strong the password list you have created on your word list. I am pausing the video to save time. I will resume when the crack is complete. You can clearly see that cracking the password from the hash file is complete. Now we will try to connect to Wi-Fi with this password. And I have done this entire attack on my own device. Please do not misuse it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to RG Security Team for more cybersecurity tutorials. See you in the next video.